it's time for another Italy vlog. One week to Italy. One week. I cannot wait. So this is gonna be my last week vlog. I just wanna take a minute to talk about the prep. In reality, getting ready for this trip has been pretty boring. Most of my preparations have been doing paperwork online, getting stuff delivered to my house, shopping online. So just know if you've got a long-term trip coming up, there it's actually not as glamorous as you would think. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But I have one week left and I'm so excited. It still feels so surreal that I'm going to be a week from today in another country. It's crazy, I can't believe it. So with one week left, I'm gonna show you, I did some stuff yesterday, but I didn't vlog it because again, it was boring. But I'm gonna walk you through really quick kind of what I did yesterday. This morning was trash day, so I took the opportunity yesterday to clean out the refrigerator. As you can see, it is looking very sparse. I do not have a lot of stuff in there. And since I've got one week left, I'm gonna use up what I have and just pretty much eat out for the rest of it. I don't really have a choice. This is all that's left in the freezer. Yeah, this has been a real struggle because I still have a week left and I don't have a lot of food. I probably have about two or three more meals left in the refrigerator and freezer. And then after that, it's just gonna be eating out. I don't eat out very much. I'm gonna get tired of it real quick. Don't have a choice. And then if we head into my packing area, there's my suitcase. I have been laying a few more things since my last vlog on the bed, um, but I don't have a lot because I'm waiting to do laundry until a few days before I go. So that way I don't have a lot of clothes. Also some of my clothes that I have or will wear this week I wanna take with me. So it's important that I kind of wait to do laundry and get those clothes laid out before. But here's a quick view of what I've got laid out. It's not a lot, but it's a start. So I do have work for the next two days, and this is like physically going into the office work. So I don't think I'm going to do anything for the next two days because work is a lot and it takes a lot of time and I'm not gonna have time to get ready for this trip. So this video will pick up in two days. I am now four days out and it's laundry time. I have been waiting to do laundry for a really long time just because I don't wanna do it multiple times before I go. I started last night. I'm doing some more this morning. I have cleaned all my clothes. I have a bunch sitting up on drying racks that I'm waiting for them to dry. And then I will start packing. I will probably do the physical clothes packing tomorrow because my clothes still need to dry some, but I'm really glad to get the laundry done because that was kind of like the last big hurdle to me kind of moving forward and packing. And yeah, it's just time to do more laundry. I have so much laundry to do. All right, I'm getting ready. I'm having a goodbye dinner with a friend and I'm excited to go have dinner at a nice restaurant and just catch up with my friend and talk about my trip and see her one more time before I go. I filmed earlier today and I gotta get fresh again. But I do want to say that it is really starting to hit me that I'm going to Italy in like four days. Actually, as of the time of this recording, it's exactly 72 hours. It's just really surreal. Like I'm still going about my day to day life like I had work today but I'm also getting ready and then it's just weird like I'm here and then in three days I'm gonna be halfway across the world. I haven't done this in a really long time. I only lived somewhere else um, for like three months when I had to work relocate for a job I had a temporary assignment and so it's been a very long time. I only have a few more nights left. Um, I'm meeting another friend tomorrow and then my parents are coming the next day to help me kind of finalize some things around the house and get ready for my trip. It's just weird knowing that I'm not gonna see these people again. You know, I've built this life here and I know these people, I see them all the time. And now I'm not gonna see them for like three months and my life is gonna be completely different. And I just don't know, I don't know how that's gonna be like. I haven't moved in a very long time. 
I don't know how I'm going to feel going to a place where I don't know anybody and, you know, having to go through that process of making friends, meeting people and stuff. And then I'm only going to be there for three months. So I don't know. We'll see. It's time to go to dinner. Two more days till I leave for Italy. I think yesterday I said four days and it's a little wishy-washy just because I'm actually leaving on one day and then it's an overnight and I get to Italy on the next day. So it is two days until I leave and then three more days until I arrive in Italy. The other day I did laundry, it has dried and I am going to lay out everything I'm gonna pack because I have a lot of stuff and I wanna make sure I have time to go through it. So today I'm gonna put everything that I'm gonna bring with me on a bed and make sure I have everything and go through it. And then tomorrow I'm actually gonna pack it in my suitcase. So let's do a little bit of that. And if you wanna complete everything I'm bringing on my trip, I'm gonna do a separate video for that. Let's start laying out some clothes. Well, the reality is starting to really sink in after putting out all my clothes and stuff and deciding what I wanted to take with me and what I didn't. Um, it's just really hitting home that I'm going to leave in a few days and it's just a very weird feeling. I feel like I'm, and I am, I feel like I'm kind of ending something here and starting something there, but the ending here is difficult. I just... You know, you have all these thoughts in your head, am I bringing the right things, am I doing the right things? And it's just very, it's a very surreal feeling to know that I won't be back for three months. So I had a dinner last night with a friend, I just had a dinner tonight with a friend, and that's the last, you know, my parents are coming tomorrow, but other than that, these are the last people I'm seeing before I leave, and that's what's kind of making it real, like having goodbyes and packing all this stuff, like just seeing all that stuff laid out and just knowing that that's all I'm gonna take with me on this trip. It's hard to explain, but the reality is setting in. I'm starting to panic a little bit because I feel like I've run out of time and I technically have. Um, I There's a lot around the house that I need to finish doing in preparation for leaving and a lot of stuff I need to do still. And tomorrow is gonna be mostly packing and just organizing stuff and getting ready to leave. Um, I'm just gonna spend the rest of tonight kind of organizing things and getting ready for what I have to do tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It is the last full day in my house before I go to Italy. So I'm leaving for Italy tomorrow and it's so surreal. I am getting a little nervous, just, you know, everyone gets nervous before they travel, right? But then I'm also getting really excited. Um, my parents were just here for lunch. They helped me clean up a few things. And now I laid out everything yesterday that I'm gonna bring with me. Of course, there's still a little last minute things I gotta line up, but uh, today I'm packing my suitcase. So that is gonna be today's adventure, is packing my suitcase. And then I want to get done and just be able to enjoy the night. You know, it's my last night in my house and I just want to have fun and enjoy it. So something interesting has happened. Um, I'll show you. I filled up one half of my suitcase completely, but I still have another half that is almost empty. And now I've got all this loose stuff left. And I think that means I'm gonna have to repack because I can't have a bunch of loose stuff in a compartment. So yeah, I think I'm done with packing. It was a lot faster than I thought, probably because I had laid our, everything out already. Um, but next stop, Italy. So I think I'm done getting ready for Italy. I have packed as much as I can and I've just got last minute stuff and I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening because it's been crazy. Off to Italy tomorrow. Mm -hmm.